is the, uh, the first episode of the Doom Room, so we're going to explain a little bit what it is for those of you who are not familiar with it. It's a, uh, it's a very unique stand-up comedy experience. Uh, what's what's going to happen is that comics are going to come up, and they're going to be presented topics right here on this screen that they will have to make up a set about those topics on the spot. We'll give them a few topics, we'll switch through, and they will, uh, they'll get to say whatever they wish, and we'll, we'll have a few cop comics run through, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Chris and I are going to try our hand at it a little bit. We had some note cards passed around that said, uh, what's some advice that you are, you're looking for? And so Chris and I are going to, going to try to give some advice. What do I do when my girlfriend is way out of my league, but sleeping with guys on the side? <laughs> on the side of what is the question I have. Is it on the side of the bed that you're not on? Because you weren't occupying that side of the bed to begin with, and that's fine. You deal with it. That's not your space. Get over it. Just be better. I mean... <laughs> Perfect. Can you hear us? Is that... Because I said some funny shit and I want you guys to be able to hear it. All right. I just asked my friend for advice. And they were like, oh, don't go up there. So I fucked up already. That's great. Storm chasing. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I saw a $5 twister at Walmart. I bought it. People asked why I bought it. I said, oh, it's going to be a gag gift. That gag gift is for future me when I'm drunk. The globe! The globe! The globe! Are you guys serious? The globe! That fucker should have stayed burned down! We could have Ted Grippy Jr. I don't know if everyone here knows, but OK Party Comedy is performing at Maha, the Maha Music Festival. It's going to be a fun time. Let's have a contest, OK Party. OK, Howard Maha. Uh, we're going to give you guys some suggestions. Here's some good ones. And then that's Howard's voice. I talked to him on the phone. Let's go. 70s mustaches. I don't, I don't ride those anymore. God, I hate Howard. The Globe. They were the Globe over Tank Griffey Jr. Ted Griffey Jr., no one appreciates this. They say that watching a horror movie, like with a guy or a girl, actually causes a lot of attraction because you're really scared. Just a fun fact, guys. Next. But we're going to get to the bottom of this Ted Griffey Jr. thing. There's a Facebook page, Ted Griffey Jr. I'm still learning how to run it, you guys. I'm coming out of the GeoCities Angel Fire era. I'm meeting up with you at Facebook Junction. Let's get this together. Twitter campaign, hashtag Tent Griffey Jr. It's all one thing, if you split it up, the hashtag won't acknowledge everything past the split. I'm learning. I'm trying, okay? I don't want to lose touch with my grandkids. Black metal. <laughs> Meme. I, I was almost dyslexic and read that as semen, but there was an end. I didn't have lawn darts as a kid. We only had, like, like lawn darts is a game that seems dangerous because I heard about it as an adult. Because as a kid, like, I grew up super fucking poor. So, like, our yard games were, like, play in the dirt. Here's some more dirt. Take a bite out of this dirt. It's like, uh... Dyslexic semen is like jerking off into an inside out sock. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's like a racist person that's against Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, like, no way, man. Keep those damn turtles out of my sewer, man. That pizza's for my family. We work hard. My family works these these fucking turtles just skateboard on down the sewer looking for a fucking handout. And I say no. I say, not in my America, motherfucker. So yeah, that's, that's the Doom Room, basically. 